Hi and welcome to this online training video for Automation Studio. This video will be an introduction on how using the hydraulic model of Automation Studio. So we'll get started by building a very simple circuit, then I'll guide you towards two ways of analyzing it. So from the library explorer here, you can select your hydraulic library. Then on the bottom section, you'll see all the most commonly used components. You can also expand it and browse through all the different categories and see a very wide choice of components. So I'll first start by inserting an electric motor. So to insert a component from the library onto your schematic, you drag it, so you click and hold. Once the component is where you want it, you can let go the mouse. So you drag and drop the components onto your sheet. So I'll drag in a couple more components. So a hydrostatic reservoir, pressure release valve, I'll take a flow meter, a pressure gauge, a 4-2 way normally open valve, and a double acting cylinder. Now to be able to connect them more easily, I can resize my components, so I'm going to zoom my sheet to all components. And now you see all my connection ports are highlighted with red circles. So to create a line or a connection, I have to first click on my origin port, let go the mouse, and then click again on my destination port. Now you see the red circle turn to a black one, meaning that it has been correctly connected. So I can also overlay connection ports, they will connect. And I can create a connection onto an exi existing line by double clicking. So if I do double click here, see I created a new connection port. Then I can edit the layout of my lines by using any of the handles that are displayed onto it when you select it. You can also move your components around. They remain connected, so it's very easy to edit the layout. So a couple of extra clicks to connect my components. And you can also click while drawing your line to change the direction of it. And here again, you can edit the layout afterwards. To copy a component in Automation Studio, you can right-click, copy, right-click, paste, or go Control-C and Control-V as well, just like you would do in any Windows-based software. But the fastest and the easiest way to copy a component in Automation Studio is to hold down the control key and drag the component around. It will be automatically duplicated once you release the mouse. Now I want you to notice on here our motor and pump. Those double lines there are a shaft, so it's a mechanical connection. In order to create a mechanical link in Automation Studio, these two ports have to be physically connected. So I have to drag my motor so the two shafts they connect together. Now that my circuit is done, I can start my simulation. So it's very intuitive. You see flow is animated, high pressure is red, low pressure is blue. I can now control my cylinder by activating the directional valve. There's two ways of doing so. First one is to force the directional valve into a desired position. So here, if I click on this pull, you'll see it will reach it and there will be a big red check mark onto it. That means that the directional valve is locked into this position. So whatever happens in your circuit, it will always remain into this position. If you want to free the movement of the directional valve and be able to use its control, you have to click on either control that are present on both sides. So I can click on the spring and now I can use my lever to control my directional valve. So you may have noticed that there are some red components. Those are because you can right click and open and cut away view animation of it. So here you see one for the 
variable displacement pump. There's one as well for pressure release valve that will open and close in the same time as the hydraulic circuit will. And so will the cylinder. You can also change the operating parameters of those components. If you click on the pressure release valve, you can change the cracking pressure and you'll see the pressure on the pressure gauge on real time. And you'll also be able to change the displacement of your pump so you can change the flow in your circuit. And as you control your cylinder, you'll notice that the lower the flow, the slower the cylinder moves in or out. We're able to go this quick into simulation because each of the components, lines included, have by default parameters. So if I double click onto any component, so here the cylinder, I go to the data sheet, you'll see all the different parameters and characteristics that allow to control the behavior of the simulation. So here, for example, we can see the piston diameter, the rod diameter, and the stroke. If you prefer to change the units displayed on your pressure gauge, you can come here and select from any of the units from bar to PSI, for example. Know that Automation Studio will convert any units that is already included. So here, for example, if the maximum pressure is set to 450 bar and I want it to be read in PSI, then it's 6500 PSI. So Automation Studio will convert all the units automatically. Another good thing to know about editing your circuit is that you can affect a function to each of your line. So if you right click on your line and you go to line functions, you can change the function of your line. That's by default a pressure line to a pilot, a drain, a load sense, or a return line. And if you change this function, the layout will be changed as well. So I went from a full line to a dash line. And as well, if you go into the view tab and you select highlight links, you'll see all the different line functions have been defined to have a different color. So now, if you want to get data out of your circuit, one of the two ways I will briefly discuss about today is to use the plotter. You can open the plotter from the simulation tab and here you, to select which variable you want to plot you have to drag the component from your circuit onto your plotter and let go of the mouse. So here I can select one or multiple variables I want to plot in my plotter. So at this moment I'll take the linear position of the cylinder and I'll take the pressure from the pressure gauge. Now, as I start my simulation, you can see here in green, the linear position going up and the pressure in yellow. You can open the properties of the plotter with the little blue arrow here and change the scales, export the data, or a couple more options that will be explained to you in another video. Another way to get data out of your circuit is by the using the dynamic measuring instruments here. So by using the node one, for example, I could read the pressure or the density, the temperature, the viscosity of the oil on any point. So here, let's read the pressure at the entry point and at the exit point of my directional valve. And as I extend my cylinder, you'll see corresponding pressures. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos and we'd like to thank you for your time.